Hello and welcome back to JTEC Media. Today I'm going to be going over the Saber offline cloning. Today I'll be utilizing my Arrow 15. Right now I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and get to that NVMe drive. As I'm doing that, I'm using the T6 torque screw. As you see there, I have it all laid out. I have over about 12 screws that I need to take out. Once I get in, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my main NVMe drive. And then I'm gonna go ahead and display and showcase the Sabrent NVMe offline cloning. As you see, I already have a Sabrent drive in there once I open that up. And then I have the main drive going into the A slot. And then I'm going to demonstrate the offline cloning. As you see there, I'm gonna press the clone for about three seconds. And then I'll start blinking. Once that happens, I let it go. And you see the progress there. It took about 15 minutes total to copy the drive. Once I did all that, I took it off the Sabrent drive and went to proceed to install it. As you see there, this will be my first boot. Test off if the cloning worked, and yes it did. Perfect. No issues whatsoever. As you see here, I'm about to start a game. Forza 4 Horizon on my new Aero 15 gaming laptop. This laptop has a 4K OLED screen. It is magnificent screen once you see it in person you'll never want to go back to a regular uh, panel this is an exceptional gaming and productivity laptop i would definitely recommend this for people that are content creators and gamers at the same time as you see the graphics these are pushing out in 4k 60 frame per second with no issues. The settings on this is maxed out, ultra, and you see it has no issues. Thank you for 